Hello and welcome to the Sangully Salu Resort. Um, this is where we have stayed for the last seven days. So I thought I'm just going to go do a quick resort tour. I'll show you the pools. I'll show you where the entertainment is. I'll show you where the shops are. I'll show you everything, all the facilities that are on site. I'm going to walk from one end all the way through to the other so you can get a full tour and see everything that's here in 2024. Um, it is currently the end of May, so the summer season is just about kicked off. Um, and like I say, we've just spent seven full days here, so let's go for a tour around Sangully in Salou. Okay, so this is one of the two entrances. There's two entrances into the resort. This is the Africa entrance. This is the main entrance. This is where you'll get dropped off when you get brought from the airport. Um, it's where the taxis drop you off. You can specifically request to be dropped off at the other end, which is the uh, seaside end, like beach side. But this is the main part. So we'll go in from this way and we'll work our way through. So this is the African entrance. If you come out of this African entrance and turn left, a bit of useful information. If you just see at the very bottom of this road, you can see a building there, just there in the background that says ONA, that is the Mercadona. That is well within walking distance. It takes about less than five minutes to walk there and it's a huge supermarket. Loads of uh, fresh meat, loads of produce. Uh, it's really good. It's, there is a supermarket on site. It's just the Mercadona down there is excellent for choice. There's just, it's a huge, huge shop. Um, we did use it and we just bagged the stuff up and came down. So it is a couple of minutes walk, just so you know. There is also a little that way. So as you come out of the resort and turn left, it's Mercadona. If you turn right and go straight down there, about a 15 minute walk down there, there is a little. So this is the African entrance. Let's head in. It is a gated security entrance. Um, sometimes in the taxis when we've been getting dropped off, back home on an evening they have asked the taxi driver to prove that we are Sangully guests so we just show them these bracelets we've got these little bracelets that you get when you check in so these are the bikes you can rent some bikes I will pop the prices up on screen now um, and these are the bikes that you can rent from the resort and you can use those to go around the resort or outside of the resort we did use ours to travel down to Salou and also Cambril. Um, we just rented them for the day and I think it was about 39 euros for four bikes and a baby carrier on the back. <clears throat> so as you see, this is the drop off point. There is a load of bikes there. I just showed you the bikes. There is another big chunk of bikes around there. And there's another big load of bikes around there. So there's plenty of bikes to choose from. You sort of come and have a little look at the bikes you like the look of, sit on them, check them over, and then you go get the keys from this guy around here. He's called the bike boy. The lady on reception says, go see the bike boy. So you show him your little contract that you've got, and then he gives you the key for the lock once you've chosen the bike that you want. And then when you bring it back, you just give him the keys back. He checks over the bike very quickly and gives you your contract back because there is a 50 euro deposit for each bike. And you do get that back, obviously, once you've returned the bike. All right, so this is the main reception. This is where we checked in late last Monday night. It was about 10 o'clock, I think, 20 past 10, when we checked in. So I'll show you the reception quickly. There is people checking in now. It's really nicely themed, as you can see. I have done quite a lot of videos for each day that we've been here. So they will be getting uploaded as well. There's the lovely wife. All right, so we've checked out, just let them know. They do hold a 100 euro deposit, don't know, on your card. That's what they said they was gonna do. You didn't notice it come out, but that's what they said. So this is where you come and book taxis. If you wanna ask for a taxi, just ask these guys on reception, they'll book it for you, give you a reference number, and you get picked up just out the front there where the giraffes are. 
Oh yeah, they are quite nice, fancy toilets in here. And then this is the reception bit. So I will show you the Victoria restaurant. This is one of the several restaurants that's on site. <laughs> um, we did eat here on the first or second day we was here. I can't remember which one, but that will be on the channel on one of the vlogs. So that is the Victoria restaurant. This is the one that has the robots that bring the food to your table. So look out for that on the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to see lots more Salu and Sangully content coming up. So there's loads of outdoor seating for the uh, Victoria restaurant. There is, they just give you a little QR code to scan to get the menu on your device and then you tell them what you want. They don't do paper menus. This is the first of many pools. There is five pools on site. This is the Africa pool. This one, there is several slides over there. Um, there's two tube slides. There's the little slide behind the elephants there. There's two little slides here. And then this is just a plain pool, but this one is slightly heated. This, this first one here, it's the only one of all the pools here that we found was slightly heated. The rest can be a little bit cold on a cold, cloudy day, but you don't get many of those, I don't think, in the summer season at Spain. Again, there's loads of sun lounges as well. You don't really fight for anything. You don't fight for a table anywhere. You don't fight for a sun lounger anywhere. So that is the Africa pool. So I will start walking down, I'll show you a map, um, so you can see exactly where we're starting this tour and where we're heading to. There is uh, four different areas in this site, there's Polynesia, there's Carib, Africa and there's um, one more. I'll check that when we get to the map, we'll have a look. Um, but yeah, this is still the Africa pool, so we walk down. Just so you know, that's reception, that's the other doors to reception. Walk down here, past the Africa pool. This is quite a nicely themed pool because uh, it's got all the elephants in the water. Um, and that's what I found about this place, it's like... It doesn't look cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels like they've spent a lot of money on it and a lot of effort and it's, it does feel like a more sort of um, sort of luxurious place to stay. Um, I have done a full tour of the accommodation, that's on the channel, if you want to check that out please do search for that on the channel. We stayed at the Tahiti Suite Bungalows. Um, the, all this on the right hand side now, that is all the Africa style accommodation. So you've got your Nuba, Nuba bungalows. These are two and three bedroom ones. And that spreads all the way back to the back there. Um, it does change theme and it changes style as you're going through. So you can tell that that is all Africa. And I'll show you the map and I'll show you where we started. So this is the map of the resort. That dot there is where we started. That was where we looked down there to Mercadona. We came in, went through reception, had a look at that restaurant. That's the Africa pool and we're just heading down here. So everything on that side, all of this, is all the uh, Africa accommodation. So that you've got Maasai Lodges, you've got Nuba Lodges, Samburu Lodges, Safari Tents which are just behind me and Grand Safari Tents. So you can see the tent style ones. We'll have a little bit of a closer look in a second. Um, so that's the pool we've just gone through. Um, the other one is Mediterranean, Africa, Carib and Polynesia. That's the four different styles. And as you can see on the map, all those style, all the Sanguli owned accommodations are all on the top half of the map. All these ones with the letters, that's all camping pitches and um, we've also got Euro Camp as well. I'll show you those when we get there. 
So we're going to head all the way down, past the Africa pool, we'll go down past the amphitheatre and we'll see the other three, four pools as well on the way past. So yeah, Africa. So we're going to head back this way. This is still the Africa pool. As you can see, there's a load of photo opportunities. They put little selfie stands there so the whole family can get a picture with the zebras. You will see around the site loads and loads of um, bikes. This is all the resort rental bikes. These are the tents, look, I'll quickly show you. you. Can't go inside, but you can probably find those on the Sangully website, pictures of the inside. But that is a tent and it's got an upstairs as well, by the looks of it. They look cool, that was one thing we was looking at, but we did hear that because they're so thin, you can hear everything that happens outside. You can hear people walking past and their conversations and stuff. Uh, and that kind of put us off a little bit. So we went for a Tahiti suite instead. Um, but we're still in Africa. You'll see up here in a sec. This is still the Africa pool. We just walked around the edge of it. And then we're just exiting Africa now. So that's the Africa pool, the Africa restaurant, the Africa reception and the accommodation. So we're going to head down here. To the left here, this is where all the Euro camp, um, oh, they're not caravans, they're like lodges, but inside they are very much like a caravan I believe. But this is Euro camp, so to book one of those you do go through the Euro camp website, not the Sangully. We booked with Sangully Direct and that's all the themed accommodations. So yeah, that's Euro camps. They look okay, they look quite spacious, they look nice. Um, we did a price comparison and for us to get a Euro camp, one of those Euro camp units, because you also have to add in your um, bedding and towel charges in those. Um, and that came to roughly about the same price as a Tahiti suite, a themed accommodation from Sangoli, because that does include towels and bedding anyway. So we'll head down this way. <clears throat> this is all the camping zones. So this is where you'll see all the caravans and the tents. And then we've got the second of five poles here. This is the gully pole. We have been in each one of the pools and there should be a little bit of footage from each of the pools in the daily vlogs that we will put up. i have sort of do the tour first. So there is a play area look that's on stand for the kids. And then there's a gully pool with some little slides. That is cold water in there and then you've got a main pool over there which is just a plain pool but that is slightly heated so that is slightly warmer that one the gully pool and that does sort of that's hidden just behind the amphitheatre and you can go straight across a little bridge over there into the um, happy pool not the happy pool the fiesta pool I get confused because there's so many <laughs> um, so yeah the gully pool what we've just had a look at that does sort of connect directly to the fiesta pool which is just around this corner these are the barley suites, these are the barley bungalows, and these are literally right next to the amphitheatre, which I'll show you in a sec. This is where all the evening entertainment is. Um, I did record some of the evening entertainment, just so you could see what sort of things you can see, what it's like when it's got people in it watching things. Um, and the Tahiti suites, where we stayed, are literally just down there. You can see at the bottom, there are the Tahiti suites. So we was in a good location for the amphitheatre, which is just around here. I'll show you that. And this is the Fiesta Pool and the Oasis Bar opening times. So I'll show you the amphitheatre. These are the toilets. This is a pizza bar. It's not just pizza, you can get any sort of food that they serve in the restaurant. You can get to take away here. And that's open till 11, half past 12, dinner time till 11 at night. And you just place your order there, you use the QR code on the side. I'll show you that in case you want to see what sort of things you can get. So you could scan that and see what's on the menu. 
uh, you wait a few minutes for it to be cooked fresh and then take it to your accommodation or you can bring it in here this is the amphitheater so as you can see loads of places to sit we've come at all different times on all different days um, during all different sort of entertainments and we've always managed to find a table most of the time you can just find an empty one somewhere down the bottom it does get quite busy but there's always somewhere to sit each sort of seating area has got a little table and it's got a QR code if you want to place an order from your table somebody can bring it to your table so each table has got its own location number and you can see the bit in the middle there with the tables and chairs that is just for the restaurant uh, that's if you're ordering food and actually dining whilst watching the show um, they don't just let anybody in there you can't just help yourself in there and sit down you do need to be uh, a dining guest from the restaurant but that's the amphitheater nightly entertainment until around midnight maybe a little bit before <clears throat> so we'll head past the amphitheater this is the Taraco restaurant so it's attached to the deli counter there but everything that you can get in the restaurant pretty much I think you can get to take away next door um, this one shows all sorts of uh, sporting events look there is big big TVs inside uh, and this next pool that we're going to come across is the Fiesta pool and that one is the one that's directly situated next to the gully pool and you can just sort of walk between the two there's a little kiddie bit there and there's a couple of slides the good thing about this pool is there is an oasis bar so there's a swim up bar and there's two three slides on this one two tube slides you can see there and then there's that white one and then that's the oasis bar there so you can swim up the stools in the water and you can have a drink you can have a slushy while sitting in the pool Again, plenty, plenty of uh, sun loungers, loads of places to pop your towels and chill out. So that is now three pools that we've seen. And this Fiesta pool is situated right next to the amphitheatre. And just behind the amphitheatre, around the corner from this Fiesta pool, is the supermarket so if you go down the hill down this little ramp there is a supermarket inside and just for reference the um, inside the supermarket you can get all your essentials there's bread milk there's all sorts of food crisps pop um, everyday essentials toilet roll um, there's a cake stand in there with some donuts and pastries. Just so you know, just for price reference, the uh, one litre bottle of whole milk was one ninety nine. So that's the prices that you're looking at. We're now back on the other side of the amphitheatre and this is where the Tahiti Suites are on the left. We walked down here and entered into that entrance into the amphitheatre. So I'll show you the map. So we're currently here, we started there, we've took that route down there, we had a look in the reception, we went past the Africa pool and then we went down there, out of Africa, we're now into Polynesia, we went past the amphitheatre and we're now there. So we're going to keep walking down and we're going to see the other two pools, the sports area and whatever else we can see. So we'll head past the restaurant and the supermarket on the left there there's some huge garbage bins there so when you're in your accommodation if your garbage bag gets full you can bring it out here and there's recycling bins in there and standard garbage bins as well and that's just opposite the supermarket down there there is another supermarket toward the front of the site we're still sort of in the Africa Polynesia part So we'll head down this way 
We've seen three of the five pools, we'll go see the other two. This is all the accommodation. I'm not going to go into all the accommodation just because it'll take too long. Um, but these ones are quite unique looking. These ones. Um, we'll have a look on the map and see what they are the next map we come across. But we're going to sort of head down toward the uh, camping area anyway now. So if we take a right after the Fiesta pole, that starts heading you toward the other two poles and the beachside exit to the resort. There is about three or four sort of play areas dotted about. Um, we used the bikes to get around to have a look at them all when we was on the bikes. But it is quite a big resort to be walking around. You don't see many cars, there aren't many cars on the roads. It's mostly sort of golf buggies. Uh, and that's the people who work here, that's the staff members sort of carrying luggage about, carrying guests about. When we arrived late on Monday night last week, we did get the uh, we did get the golf buggy to our accommodation, which is complimentary. So we'll have a look and see what these accommodations are, these uh, unique looking ones. This is the map look. Like I said, they are dotted about everywhere, so it's them ones. So it's the uh, Mediterranean. This is the Mediterranean area. Um, so we're going to head down past the next two poles. There's a play area there, look. There's, um, it tells you on the map actually, if you go down to play areas 23, 24, 25. So we've got 23, which is just behind the amphitheatre, that's a play area. And we've got 25, which is just there, a little bit further down. And 24, if I can see 24 there. So there's three play areas. And it's handy for restaurants. You can just look on there and see the restaurants, three, four, and five. So you've got five, which is the Victoria restaurant that we saw. And then four, which is the one next to the amphitheater. And then three, the 1972, which should be at the beach side at the bottom there. So we'll head down, past all the Mediterranean accommodation, and again to the left that's all the camping, touring pitches. <clears throat> it is a busy site. We came during school time, we brought the kids out of school for this holiday, um, thinking it might be quieter, it was all, an awful lot cheaper, um, but it's still busy. As you're walking around, we was walking around the accommodations, getting to hours and getting to all different places as we're walking around the site and you don't see many empty units to be honest, nearly every single unit has towels on the areas outside or it has bikes packed up outside, you can tell there's people living in them. It's it was, the empty ones were few and far between, I'll tell you that. So we're heading down now toward the sports area. And we'll go take a look inside there at what's in there. This is one part of the site that we haven't really looked in too much, to be honest, in the week we've been here. We've just been so busy spending time at Port Ventura and the water park. And it's just a, a busy, busy week. But we'll head in here and see what there is. That's the play area at the bottom there with the slides. You can see there's uh, football and basketball. So the sports area is open 10 till 10. And then the happy pool, which is the fourth of the five pools, is just behind this area. So we'll take a look at that. So yeah, there's football, basketball, there's table tennis down there. There's a little, uh, a little football pitch, AstroTurf football pitch. 
kids football and then there's trampolines as well I believe these are three euros to ten minutes on the trampolines and then the kids play area there is a crazy golf There's the crazy golf. There's pool tables if you wanted to play pool. That's under the uh, the roof of the bar. Like I said, table tennis as well. And then you've got the happy pool. There's two slides in this one. We have got footage of us in this pool. This is the first pool we uh, we came into on our uh, second day, I think. But that'll be uh, that'll be on the channel on one of the daily vlogs. So we'll head down. There's a little kiddie pool there as well on the right, and then the main pool goes to about one and a half meters, I believe. It's quite deep, but not too deep. And there's, like I say, there's two slides on that one. So the only other pool that we need to go see now is the relaxed pool and then we head out of the southern end of the site to the beach and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to get to the beach from Sangoli. There's also another football pitch there and a tennis court. You can rent the uh, bats and balls. So I'll head down here. I think it takes about, probably takes about 15, 17 minutes to walk from one side of the site to the other without stopping. Uh, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. Um, but this is the way to get out to the beach exit. So I'll show you the other pool. I'll show you where the other supermarket is. Um, and we'll see what else is here at this end. We haven't really explored this end too much. We walk out of this end to go to the beach, um, but we haven't explored this part of the resort of Sangoli. We did do this pool, me and Maisie and Albie did this pool for a little bit on one of the days when Zach was poorly. So I'll quickly show you this pool. This is the relaxed pool. There's no slides in the main pool of it. There is a little kiddie section just behind it that has got a couple of little, really little slides that I'll be quite liked. So this is the relaxed pool and there's a snack bar in here as well for the 1972 restaurant. And I'll quickly show you this pool. Uh, there is a waterfall that comes out of this building here, this little structure. It's not currently on. Um, but I have got it on video when it is on because I took the waterproof action cam in this pool when we visited it so that's the fifth and final swimming pool that's the relaxed pool and as you can see it is more relaxing than the others because there's no big hectic slides plenty of places to sit plenty of places to lay and get a tan put your towels down and we'll uh, head back out This is where you can get your deli food from. That's not been open in the time we've been here. Or well, we've not seen it open, but I assume during peak season in the summer that will be open. It is again gated at this side. There is a security, some security personnel at the bottom. You can get taxis to drop you off at this end if you tell them when you want dropping off. If you tell them uh, beachside Sangully, this is where you'll get dropped off. If you tell them Africa, it'll be where we started this tour at the very top. So, we'll have a look at the map now. So, this shows we've gone from there all the way down. We went that way, down there, down there. We've seen that pole and we're now here. There is a land train. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but there is a land train that starts just the other side of these gates. 
um, oh this is one of the stops we did get on it so I can put some footage of the land train in now and that takes you around the site um, to the other end I think it makes two or three stops as you go around but that's where we picked it up from so if you come out of the site there is another little supermarket down this way before you leave Sangley and that's the second reception that's the beachside reception should you need to go into that one that's open 8 until 8 uh, whereas the Africa one is open 24 7 and this is the other supermarket 8 until 9 and again there's a, a bakery in there as well so I won't go in but you can see the sort of things there is there's cereals, there's jams, there's spreads coffees, beers um, alcohol like sangrias and things like that um, but we only tend to use that on-site supermarket for things that we desperately needed at the time if we needed anything from a supermarket we'll either we either walked out the Africa entrance down to the Mercadona, the huge, massive um, Tesco stroke as the type shopping centre um, supermarket, um, or we went to the Michelangelo out this beachside, which I'll show you in a sec. This is a shop, so this show, this sells clothes, it sells teddies, um, floats, all your souvenirs, magazines, and things like that. And that's open nine till eight. So there is a shop on site for things that you might need. If you decide not to leave the site at all, you probably wouldn't have to because I think everything that you would need would be on site. We like to explore the area that we're in, so we kind of... We, we did use it as a base and we did spend one full day looking in the pools and everything, but other than that, we have pretty much been off site for most of the week we've been here. Um, just because we like exploring the area and the reason we came here was for Port Ventura in the first place. So that's the 1972 restaurant back there. So if you come out of here, beachside, that's the trains, that's where the train picks you up where we've just walked from. Walk across this old railway line and then you've exited Sangully. So over this old railway line, and we'll head down to the beach which you can just see across this road it is literally across that road and you're on the beach this on the right here is the Michelangelo supermarket that has much much more choice than the on-site restaurant at uh, the on-site supermarket uh, and it is a little bit cheaper as well than the on-site one obviously if you buy things on the in the on-site supermarket you do pay a premium for it being more convenient and you're not having to leave the site it's not too badly priced but um, here's a little bit cheaper in the Michelangelo well, if you're in the market for a beach towel this shop just outside Sangully we've just crossed the mat the road there across the uh, old train line that's Sangully where you can see the blue the blue sign just there across here and on your left there's a shop that sells beach towels for 5 95 so bargain and that's the Michelangelo if you get the bus from the airport from the Reyes airport you can get dropped off right here this is the bus planner you can get the bus direct from the airport and it will drop you off here and that is literally at the end of the street to Sangoli so other than Michelangelo we did do the heart bar on the right just down there the full video of our experience at the Heart Bar will be on the channel very soon, so don't forget to subscribe to see that. That was an amazing restaurant. That is literally just as you come out of Sangoli, turn right, past Michelangelo, and it's the second or third building past, just there. And it's an Irish bar, restaurant, and the food was absolutely incredible amazing there is sometimes a queue to get a seat there just so you know it depends when you go if you go during peak tea time like seven till nine you might have to stand outside and wait for a table to become available 
Um, but that's a good sign. If people are queuing to get in, that means it's a good restaurant. The one a little bit further down, the Mexican one, I went and had a look at. At the same time, there was a queue for the harp. That there was two tables occupied in the whole restaurant for the Mexican one, so that wasn't very good. Right, so this is the beach. There is a cycle path. So if you do rent the bikes from Sangully, you can bike directly straight out of Sangully across that road and there's a cycle path all the way down along this beachfront, all the way into actual Salou, like the Salou Centre, right at the bottom down there. And that's where there's a McDonald's, a Burger King, there's a KFC, there's loads of sort of gift shops and all sorts of things down there. Um, we have got a McDonald's and a Burger King menu check video on the channel for both of those restaurants down there in Salou if you want to check those out on the channel and then if you was to go that way you enter into Cambriel all the way down there uh, it's a nice beach nice and clear sand there's lots of play areas all the way down to both sides if you're taking a walk to Salou it's a really nice sort of stroll all the way down you can walk on the beach have a little stop on the play areas if you've got the small kids either side so that is access to the beach literally just outside the southern end exit to Sangully so I'll head back into Sangully uh, and I'm just gonna check to see if there is anything else that I've missed inside the resort itself but yeah we've uh, we've sort of explored a little bit out of the resort more than inside so there is plenty to do inside like the entertainment is really good we did watch maybe three or four different parts of the entertainment um, and there was like a Disney show one night one of them was a Disney show um, and there was uh, Robbie Williams tribute, there's a rock show, uh, there's some sort of acrobatic people um, that do some really cool things, there's all sorts of different things um, in that amphitheatre that I showed you. So we're going to head back into Sangully now. That golden town is really good for breakfast apparently, you can get a proper good full English breakfast at that one and that's the first restaurant you come to when you exit Sangully onto your left I'm gonna go in I'm gonna have a quick look at the map and make sure that we've covered everything and then I think that is the Sangully Resort Tour and I hope it helps people there was uh, there was one chap called Matthew Holt that put a video on a couple of years ago on YouTube and it was the only one we found and it was massively helpful to us when we was looking at booking this place. We watched it five or six times. Um, it was a brilliant video, full tour of the site, just like this one. And it helped us sort of decide this is where we wanted to stay. So I'm hoping two years later, I don't know if it's much different, but I'm hoping two years later, this one might help some other people the same way. Um, so, Let's have a look then. We've done. We've covered the pools. We've covered that one. One, two, three, four, five pools. Oh, that's the uh, that's the fifth pool. Africa pool, Gully pool, Fiesta pool, Happy pool, Relax pool. There is. As you can see, all different accommodations. So there's Carib, which is all the bright coloured ones. That's all the Caribbean sort of style. And then you've got Polynesia, which is all these ones where we stayed. We stayed in the uh, Tahiti Suites, the slightly bigger ones. There was only 12 of those in total. And then you've got your Bali ones. And then Africa, which we saw all at the top here. Um, and then the Mediterranean ones, which are sort of in the middle all these ones and then you've got all your um, Euro camps and then all your camping and touring pictures at the bottom so that is the full tour of Sangully one of the things I did happen to miss on the tour was the salon so we are here and the salon 
it's just there so we've just come past the amphitheatre and then that way and then you can see there's a salon so there's hairdressers you can get um, beauty treatments massage and all things like that that's at the beauty centre and this is located just next to the uh, the brightly coloured Caribbean accommodation so if you're looking for a haircut or pedicure manicure massage um, I assume they do all sort of sorts of beauty treatments I'm not an expert on that so I couldn't tell you exactly what they do but there is a beauty center on site here at Sangully if you enjoyed the video please do pop a like on it if it was helpful in any way again pop a like don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see lots more content from Salu and Sangully and if you've got anything to comment at all, please do put the comments, put in the comments down below. Any questions, any queries, if I can help you, I will. I read every comment, I reply to every comment that I can. And that concludes the tour. So, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see you on the next one. See you later, bye-bye.